Good evening, everyone. I plugged in my mic because I realized I hadn't hadn't done that. So I hope that didn't mess things up. Please let me know in the comments if you can hear me. My name is Susan Campfield. Welcome to my craft room. Come on in. We're going to play with stamps, ink, and paper tonight. And I am so excited because we are using some of the new products. So Stampin' Up! has a new annual catalog that is coming out on May 2nd. I'm so excited. Can you tell? <laughs> And not only do we have a new catalog, you can hear me. Thanks, Bonnie. Appreciate it very much. Um, we have a color refresh. So behind me, I have my um, my colored cardstocks. I keep them on the wall. My my stamp desk is here, so I can grab and uh, and go. And today, I pulled all the old retired colors. And I put the new colors up and I did them in rainbow order. I like rainbow order because um, creatively speaking, if I'm looking for greens, I can look at all my options that way. However, the, the rainbow order I used <laughs> is different than the rainbow order, rainbow order I was using. So there's going to be a little bit of learning curve for Susan. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but I'm so excited. We're going to play with a new bundle tonight and we're going to um, actually visit one of my favorite papers that is about to leave the um, the catalog that we have. So good to hear you. Oh, Elisa's here from Hawaii. Aloha. And I've been seeing that you've been talking about Easter dinner tomorrow and all the things. Yes, we're doing that as well. I'm going to go ahead and turn this camera around and I'm going to show you uh, one of the cool tools regarding the, um, the color refresh that Stampin' Up! Uh, gives to demonstrators. So Let's get this party started. Uh, by the way, shout out to my moderator, Jennifer Walsh. She's hanging out in the comments here. She's here to help us out. So if you have a question, you can uh, type in the at symbol and start typing Jennifer and her name will pop up and she can help flag me down if you have a question because sometimes I get so busy creating and crafting that I missed your questions. So she's here to help out with that. Thanks for all you do, Jennifer, to help things go smoothly. And I also want to remind you that I send out free project sheets um, every, I don't know, every uh, maybe three a month. And so if you would like some inspiration, some creative inspiration in your inbox, you can sign up for that. Um, you guys are so awesome because you, I'm trying to find the right banner, <laughs> because you make and send cards. And that is so fantastic. You're all wonderful. Um, I know they're appreciated. I know you're making the world a better place by sending those handmade cards. My little piece of that hopefully is to give you some creative inspiration so that you want to make more and more and more cards, right? So we can just make the world a better place. So if you want some creative ideas uh, with a project sheet that you can print out, you can go to suestampfield.com, click on subscribe and sign up for those free project sheets. But now let's go ahead and see if we can do some creating together here. I'm going to do, 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 um, I'm going to show you a card that I actually posted on my Instagram account today. And we're going to make that. I think I might camera that I like working again. Hallelujah. Yay. It is working again. Oh, look, Susan has a messy desk. Well, isn't that just totally normal? All right. So what I have here, let me just see if I can get this a little bit more cooperating. So Stampin' Up! gives demonstrators lots of tools and things on the demonstrator website. This is just for demonstrators. And one of the tools that they've given us is this color coach. And um, I took it, I put it on a, I downloaded it and I put it on a little thumb drive and I took it to the, the printing place today to office copy max. And I had it printed out on the basic white cardstock. Actually I had to do it myself on the self-serve machine because they they, their printing part wasn't open yet. And um, so I'm so excited. And, and it turns out that Stampin' Up! put these in rainbow order for us so that when I printed them out, they were already in their recommended rainbow order. So that's what I did on my shelves. And the only one that's kind of freaking me out a little bit, uh, we'll see if I get used to it or if I have to move it, is one of the new in colors. It's called Wild Wheat. And it is between Cajun Craze and Pumpkin Pie. 
and it's to me it's very greenish it's a little more of a chartreuse um, it's a really cool color I think it's going to look great with navy because it's got a lot of gold in it so I can see why they put it there I don't know we'll see it might get moved it might get moved and that's okay because it's my my color rainbow and I can have it any way I want and you can have any kind of color rainbow you want so I have this I haven't punched a hole yet I'll be putting it on one of those big rings but I but first I'm going to be mounting it uh, this is a, an idea I got from from another demonstrator um, she cut a layer of the matching cardstock so this one I will cut a piece of cherry cobbler a little bit bigger than this and I will adhere it to that this one will be layered on real red so that way I see the true color because when you print these things off you know I don't know what copy max's ink level was in that self-serve printer I use today I don't know how true to color these are so then it will have the actual color right there so then I can punch my holes get it on a ring and have this great tool so hopefully the next time you tune in Susan will have this done we'll see we'll see how that goes for me <laughs> I do have a big Easter dinner to make tomorrow so um so fun all right so what are we doing tonight, Susan? Well, that's a really good question. Let me bring this in. We're going to revisit a card layout that I did previously. Um, so one of the other, you know, Stampin' Up! has um, tools that just demonstrators can buy. And this is one of them. It's a card holder. How fun is this? Let's see if it helps Susan keep from losing things. <laughs> As if you haven't watched my videos before, let me just tell you, I lose stuff. I do. I cover it up and it goes missing and yeah, whatever. So um, <laughs> this maybe this will help me because I can put cards on here that I want to show you during the video and not cover them up. Right. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. It's got the Stampin' Up! logo right here. I don't know if you can see that, um, but it's just kind of a fun little card stand there. So we're going to make this card. We're revisiting a, one of my favorite layouts that I've done before, but we're using new products. So this layout, I call it four in a row because it's four in a row, <laughs> right? And so I'll be sharing the measurements and all of that with you. This one was done with the Fancy Flora Designer Series paper and the oh help me out jennifer why am i blanking out on this name oh, one of my sets i've been using all the time you guys oh help me out what 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 i'm looking at my shelf frantically trying to find it and i'm not finding it <laughs> Fancy Flora is the name of the paper, right? Um, anyway, the paper is retiring. So if you don't have this in your stash, you might want to grab that. I did three different cards with this, different colors of flowers and different patterns in the paper. Um, the other two have already been sent out for birthdays, but I still have this one. And um, and then I did this one with, I can't, I'm not going to think be able to think of a single uh, product name tonight. I can already see where we're going. Okay. This was the, the, the seaside bay is the name of the stamp set. Um, the paper, which coordinates is it's retiring the stamp set. Um, and the pull it out here, the stamp set and the dies are carrying over in the new catalog, but they're not going to be a bundle anymore. And this heartfelt sympathy is absolutely beautiful. I love that font and I love all the critters and this and the sand and the different things. So if that one's on your wish list, um, you actually would save 10% by getting the bundle now instead of waiting until it's in the new catalog. And then they'll be, they'll be available, but just as separate items. This by the bay is the name of the paper thank you jennifer fancy flora is the name of the paper but what's the name of the stamp set jennifer oh i cannot think of the name of the stamp set i could grab my catalog it is right here that just seems like a lot of work doesn't it <laughs> la, la, la. let's look let's see which one if the lag time Jennifer can get it faster than I can. She's pretty fast. So, oh, I got there. Two-tone flora. Oh, thank you, Lynn. Yeah, it was, yeah. Thank you, Cheryl. See, you guys all knew what it was. Two-tone flora is the same deal. It's um, the, the stamps and the dies are carrying over in the new catalog, but they're not going to be bundled. So again, if that one's on your wish list and you haven't gotten it yet, same deal. Um, you'll want to pick it up now. This one is a something fancy, also the same. The stamps and the dies are carrying over, but they won't be bundled anymore. So you can save the 10% by getting them now. This is one of the cards we're going to make tonight. We might be making two. We might be making three. I don't know. Uh, 
let's see how we go. Okay. I'm going to set this. Hmm, where am I going to set this, Susan? Okay. Shove it over there. Okay. All right. So this card is made with some new products. So exciting. Um, this is uh, the sweet name is Countryside Inn. And the die uh, bundle that comes in that is called Countryside Corners. It is a nesting die set. You can see them right here. And the stamp is one big giant stamp. And so we're going to be playing with that tonight. I've got so many ideas for this, um, but we're going to be doing one of them tonight and uh, looking forward to sharing more with you on future videos. But you can see a little bit of that on the inside of the card here, right here. So you can see that the, the stamping there and how those nesting dies work. Um, we're going to be doing another card with this probably this Tuesday where we do the nesting dies. Uh, similar to another card we did with the radiating stitches dies. But let's stick with this one for now. So we have these two products in the suite. Another product in the suites. Oh, for the love of mercy, where did you put it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Found it. Take a sip, everyone. What's in your cup tonight? Mm. I have some delicious ice water, which is my go-to beverage. Um, I have the Countryside Blossoms embossing folder. And somebody over on my Facebook page, and oh shoot, I am not going to be able to remember her name. Darn it. Somebody on my Facebook page told me that this matches one of the patterns in the paper. And by golly, it does. And we're going to play with that tonight. So I'm super excited to look at that. Let's talk about that designer series paper because it's super cool. Um, now I've chopped into mine a bit, but you'll get the idea. Come here, you. Ugh. Uck, uck, uck. I didn't lose it. It just was not being cooperative. So we have this beautiful pattern here and on the back. Now, if you know anything about me, you'll know I'm crazy for navy and white and really blues in general, but especially when there's white added. Um, we have this pattern. This is actually the pattern that matches the embossing folder. So we'd be playing with that a little bit later. And then we have this stripe on the back and then these cute, adorable little foxes in this paper. And on the back side, we've got some more navies and blues. And the blues that are in this paper, I will show you in just a minute what cardstocks they are. This one is gorgeous with the trees. They remind me of like tapestry rugs, don't they? Just so pretty. And of course, as is typical with Stampin' Up, one side is heavily patterned and the other side, look at the bunnies. Happy Easter, everyone. <laughs> a little bunny action and on the back we have this beautiful stripe so as is typical with stamping up papers one side will be busier and the other side will be a little bit more neutral or really good for backgrounds that way it gives you a lot of versatility um, with your papers with those two sides to choose from and this one we have the beautiful white birds and then on the back we've got another navy stripe so let's talk about the blues that are in this um, paper one of my favorites, which is Night of Navy. And oh, wait, oh, that's my card base. Okay. I'll set that aside so I can lose it for later. <clears throat> uh, Night of Navy. And then we also have Misty Moonlight. Misty Moonlight is an in color we had previously. It is now back. Uh, yay. It was one of my favorites. And you can see how nicely it pairs with Night of Navy. Um, and then we have Boho Blue, which is a new in color. That's a brand new one. And Boho Blue, we might remember uh, back in Celebration, we had a little special Boho Blue mini machine that was available. Um, and that's another perk for demonstrators. So a lot of these um, things I'm talking about tonight are demonstrator perks, like the card holder, like this free tool that they gave us with the um, the color coach, they call it. It's recommended colors that go with cherry cobbler, for instance. Um, and the fact that I could pre-order these brand new things, those are all perks of being a demonstrator. So not only do demonstrators get an awesome discount on what they buy, they also get all of these perks. So if you haven't considered being a demonstrator yet, I would highly recommend it. There's a lot of great perks involved. And then the other blue that's in this paper 
is good old balmy blue right here. And that is quite a bit brighter than the other three. You can see how the other three are almost gradations of color. And then the, the balmy is a little bit different, but you can see how pretty that is in the pattern to just have that little pop of the brighter blue. And it's not in every pattern, as you can see, um, but it, it really does add a nice uh, thread of color throughout the paper there. So, um, yeah, I love the boho blue too, and I'm so glad the Misty Moonlight is back. So um, we had another blue that was kind of similar to this one, and occasionally I call it the wrong name, but I think Misty Moonlight's the right name. I don't have my ink pads up yet. That's the next plan. I'm hoping that um, that I won't be cooking all day tomorrow, <laughs> and then I'll get a chance to... Uh, uh, get my ink pad sorted because that's just an exciting thing for me. Now, I love navy and white, as I mentioned, one of my absolutely favorite, favorite papers that's in the current annual catalog that's about to retire is the Sun Prints paper. And I, <laughs> I've been wanting to play with this, but I was worried it was going to sell out because we were, um, it actually was low inventory before the retired list even came out. Um, but they got more in. So it is still in stock. So if you uh, if you don't have this beautiful paper, or if you um, uh, you don't have enough of it, <laughs> like me, then this is my fourth package. I'll admit it. I'll admit it. I love it. Um, then uh, I would highly recommend you get it before it's gone. So that is the Sun Prince paper, and I have a boatload of creative inspiration for you on my YouTube channel uh, with the Sun Prince. So check that out. All right. We're going to make this card and then we're going to make uh, a couple other ones and do some playing. Well, well, at least one other one for sure all the way. All right, let's 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 get started here with some supplies. I don't know what happened to this Night of Navy. It got like, got a little bent. Let's, let's grab a, let's grab a fresher piece. So this is uh, your standard eight and a half by five and a half. And I'm just going to fold it in half. I'm just how uncouth. I'm not even scoring it. I'm just going to take my bone folder and give it a good crease here. Um, all right. So there I have my Knight of Navy card base. And then I'm going to bring in a piece of basic white. Sure you are, Sue. Oh, yeah. Here we go. A piece of basic white. This is three and a quarter by four and five eighths. And then I'm going to cut some strips of this designer series paper to mount on here. So let's, uh, gosh, Sue, that would involve a uh, paper trimmer. Hmm. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Hang on. Hold on, friends. <laughs> Where the heck? Oh, golly. Hold on. Aha, found it. <laughs> It was under the Simply Scoring tool. All right, let's all take a sip, everyone. It was time for a little uh, sip of water anyway, right? Mm -mm -mm. You have sun prints and you haven't used it, Anne. Oh, I feel so, you were so lucky. I'm so happy for you because that paper is, it's just a joy to create with. Absolutely a joy to create with. So, in fact, I have a video from last August um, that has just a whole bunch of cards um, that I, I show the whole suite and all the things that you can do with it. So check that out. If you're on my Instagram or my Facebook page, I actually posted that link um, two days ago. <laughs> it was put with a card um, from that time. So I'm going to cut this at three inches. I don't know where the heck all my smaller pieces of this paper are because I've already used it a fair amount, but we'll just, we'll just do this. And then I, so I've got it three inches wide and then I'm going to cut four pieces that are one inch wide. So three by one, and I need four of those. Sorry, it's three inches tall, one inches wide. I've got a little bit of paper in my, hold on. This is where take your pick tool comes in to save the day. There was a little bit of fuzzy stuck in my cutting blade and uh or my channel there and it was making my blade not work as good as it should <gasps> oh now it's like butter all right all fixed thank you take your pick tool all right so i've cut four little strips there i'm gonna set that aside 
and lose it so that I don't have it for later. No, would I lose it? Of course I would not. So when you put these pieces back together, if you choose, um, you can match the patterns up. Um, sometimes that just brings me joy <laughs> to, to put them back in the same order that they were um, in the actual piece. You can see I did that here and also here. Uh, but you know what? You don't have to because last, uh, did I make this last night? Yeah, I made this last night. Um, I actually cut one long one inch strip. So then the pieces didn't match up and it looks great, right? So it totally doesn't matter, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> Uh, if it bugs you, don't do it, right? All right, I'm going to grab my seal here and I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive on here and pop this onto our card. And then the fun begins and we get to do some die cutting and stamping and all the things, right? And this is where I, I made this card, the initial card I made very late last night uh, because I wanted to post something to Instagram. And I really liked it. And I thought, oh, we should make this tomorrow night. And then we should make some others that are similar. So um, I don't totally remember what I did. We're going <laughs> to we're going to break it down together. So when I do this, I like to do the two outside pieces. And then I do the two inside pieces. That way um, I can uh, kind of fudge if I didn't space it quite right. I can wiggle these two around to fill in the gap. Hope that makes sense. And this one I didn't press down very hard just so I could see where I'm at. Um, I think I left a little more than I'd like there. So I'm gonna actually pop this one off and slide it over a bit. There we go, that looks better. All right, so we've got our four in a row, hence the name of the card. And we're going to stick that down and then we're going to get creative with this unique stamp set. Okay, so I'm going to pop this on here. All right, so now we got to make it pretty, right? <laughs> the fun begins. So we're going to bring in this stamp. This is again called the Countryside Corners uh, Bundle. The stamp will be available on May 2nd. I'm going to bring in my Knight of Navy ink pad and ink this up so it is one big ginormous stamp it's as big as a background stamp almost it would cover the whole front of a card and i am dreaming of this in in blo boho blue on white i can't wait to create that so um i uh denise the sizes um jennifer has them in the comments here if you scroll up and i also will post a screenshot at the end i've got a little banner that i can put up that shows all of them so so no worries i got you covered all right but we do need, need some white cardstock here don't we all right ah good news i did not lose my trimmer let's just uh let's cut this down what size do i want this i'm gonna do this um, what am I going to do this? Let's try five and a half by four and a quarter, because as I said, this is a good size stamp. It's almost the size of a card. We are going to be die cutting it. So all right. there we go. Now with these big stamps, you can do it a couple different ways. You can actually put it on that way or stamp it down this way, whichever is uh, more more easier for you. That's not good English. Too. Whichever is easier for you. Okay, that sounded better. Um, I'm trying to center it and uh, the camera's over it, but I'm not. So let me just <laughs> bear with me while I pull it a little closer to me. All right. And I'm going to press it. You can see I didn't even bother to put the label on because, you know, I know what it looks like. <laughs> I do like to put the labels on the words usually. Um, so that I know what they say. But for big images like this, pretty obvious. So I don't bother. So because it's so big, I am giving it a fair amount of pressure and pushing and wiggling my camera accidentally. And there we have our images and that's ready to cut out. So let's do it. Let's bring in the die cutting machine. I am 
going to knock over the catalogs. I am using the large machine here. Mm -hmm. Bear with me. I'm going to make some room, which means I'm probably covering up some important stuff. Okay. Um, gosh. All right. Here we go. My boho blue pad here, just in case we need it. All right. So let's grab our paper. This again was four and a quarter by five and a half. And we stamped that one big ginormous stamp on it. And now I'm going to see if I can find, ah, found them. They were hiding under the stamp set. Take a sip, everyone. Mm, so good. So Jennifer has the uh, dimensions here, but I also will post them at the end. So no worries. All right. So, um, so you can see these nesting dies and they perfectly line up with the stamps, except for this one, which is kind of a little bonus banner there. So I want to capture this little, mm, it's not really a floral frame, but it kind of has that appearance for the front of my card. So I don't want that to move on me. So I'm going to grab a um, post-it note here and tack that down. You can use a post-it note. You can use removable tape. Some people use washi tape. Whatever works for you. Um, right there. Okay. And then I'm also going to cut some for the inside. But let's go ahead and cut this one. We'll start with this. I'm going to send that through so I can show you what it looks like. It's got that magic little crunchy pop sound. <laughs> Such a happy sound, isn't it? All right. So we're going to pull off our post-it here. And so we've now captured this beautiful label to go on the front of our card. But I'm not done yet. <laughs> so I'm going to put that back onto the, my magnet sheet. Um, and... I want to use this as a decorative frame on the inside of my card to frame my inside message. Okay, so I'm going to cut this section. Um, and so I'm going to skip up a couple dies. Let's see, we cut that one, that one. Let's see, I think it's this one. No, it must be this one. Is that right? Uh, where's my card? Uh, yes, it's this one right here. Okay, so I'm going to line up my die with that stamped image. Grab a post-it note here and stick it down. So it looks straight, you guys. <laughs> I can't tell because I'm not, uh, the camera's over it, not me. I'm going to push it up just a skosh. All right. Stick that on there. And I have this other post-it note from before. I'm just going to double double duty it here just so it doesn't shift on me. And we're going to send that one through. All right. So let's see what we made here. So I'm going to pull this off and this off. And now I have this frame that I can use on the inside of my card. Now I chose to cut another piece behind it so that I would have a lighter color to stamp on. Um, I could have done that in white. Um, I could have, if I wasn't using this on the front, I could have left the middle in there. But I like that I can use both, if that makes sense. So... Um, and then this one I can save and use for another project. It would be a nice big frame to use on another card. And I would cut it out with the largest die. Okay, so I'm going to be able to get like multi-use out of this. You could even make, I could make this a completely separate card. Oh, maybe we should do that. Nah, we won't. But we could. <laughs> yeah, I could make three cards out of this one stamp right with my dice but i'm gonna use this on the inside okay because that's what i did on the sample so let's do that so we're gonna grab another die out of here so uh, which one did i use i used this one so now i want to go one bigger or you could actually go two bigger what did i do i think i went one bigger but i could go two bigger 
totally up to you what you whatever you want to do and i'm going to grab that boho blue piece and die cut this out now i don't need the post-it notes because there's no stamp damage that i'm lining up with here so hey susan you're not late you're right on time <laughs> and then we'll die cut this out crunchy crunch and before i put it away Look, I'm already losing things. Before I put it away, I'm going to uh, die cut one more, and that's a layer for my Thinking of You piece. And that's out of Night of Navy. Oh, hang on. There's got to be a... Ah, found it. Hang on. <laughs> oh, I know I may not be able... This was a skinny one. I don't know. This is the one I cut out of last night. Oh, sure. I can get that out of there, can I? Found it. Let's take a sip, everyone. Hmm. I'm out of water, you guys. Oh, my gosh. This is terrible. But it does mean that I've been drinking a lot of water today because this is my second 30-ounce container that I've emptied. So I think you're supposed to drink 90. Women are supposed to drink 90 ounces of water a day, I think. I heard that somewhere. So I have this 30-ounce mug i thought well i better be emptying that three times in a day <laughs> all right so i'm gonna flip this over so let me know you only ordered the dies in the paper that's okay you can do a lot with the dies in the paper all right so we have our layer here and put this here and all right I really hope I can find what I did with that first piece because I'm not seeing it. Maybe it's hiding under the machine. No. <laughs> oh, found it. There it was right there. It's under the post-it notes. Tricky. You can run, but you can't hide. Okay. So let's put our cards together. So for our sentiment on this card, we're going to use another new stamp set because why not this is called lasting joy it's a beautiful hand scripted font um, i love i I'm, I'm a sucker for a good birthday message <laughs> and so this one has the birthday wishes for the outside and then may the years ahead be filled with lasting joy which is lovely sentiment um, for this card we're actually going to put um, thinking of you on the front and the birthday wishes on the inside so um, it also has a nice, I missed your birthday. Um, so that can cover <clears throat> those times when, you know, I'm late. <laughs> I'm a little late to the party. So, all right, I've lost my Native Navy ink pad. See, oh, I knew I would. Oh, found it. I set it over here to get it out of the way. So take a sip. I've got ice left. Hmm. But I'm going to be making slurping sounds <laughs> if I try to drink any more water because it's empty so sad all right i'm gonna stamp thinking of you so you're gonna have to take a sip for me friends all right i'm gonna zoom this up just a touch and pull this closer to me because holy cow i can't see that <laughs> and then this is a photopolymer stamp so i that was why i was able to stamp first and then fill this in right um, you also could, of course, you know, die cut a word and add that later. So it's almost straight. Close enough. All right. So we've got that on there. And then we're going to put this on our layer that we made. And then we're going to go to the inside of our card, which is this piece here. So let's, I'm going to go ahead and stick that on and then stamp the greeting in the resulting opening so that I make sure I get it right where I want it. So I'm going to grab the birthday wishes stamp and stamp that right inside. So pretty. Oh, boho blue is going to be a a really fun new color <laughs> to have so oh no paula's cup is empty too oh i didn't even lose that many things yet did i paula 
<laughs> All right, so we're going to pop this on. Uh, well, let's put this on the inside of the card first. So we've got this fun little uh, banner piece. Now you might be wondering where would I sign the card? Um, well, I'm not very wordy. I put all of my love into creating the card and I don't like to say a whole lot. So this one's actually perfect because I just put love Susan right there. <laughs> and then I'd be all set. So and then we can add this with a couple of dimensionals. And we'll just bling it up a bit. So I'm going to grab Oh, why not three? What the heck? Let's put three dimensionals on here. And then I want to show you, let's play around with that embossing folder and see if that lines up with that pattern. Um, like that gal told me, because I can tell you it does. Because <laughs> I was I was checking it out before I went live. So we'll see if we can make a card with it. All right. So we've got our thinking of you right there. I'm going to unbury my rhinestones. They are underneath my paper in the drawer. Here we go. And... Take your pick tools right where it belongs. And I'm just, I'm going to get extra blingy on this one. Oh, we have a, we have a rogue rhinestone, but you're too big. I don't want to use you. I'll put you down here using the little ones. You can see I've used up all of the big ones and all of the medium ones on this sheet, but I have loads of the little ones. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to put three across the top and three across the bottom. You wouldn't have to. Um, you could just do them across the top. In fact, I'm going to get, why don't you vote? So should I add uh, three across the bottom or just leave them across the top here? This is what it looks like um, if they're on both. So let me know if you think that's too much um, in the comments because I had to wing it last night. I wasn't with you guys and I didn't know. So while you're looking at, while you're deciding if we're adding more bling to that or not, Let's go ahead and bring in this embossing folder and just across the top, not the bottom, both, bottom two, both, 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 just the top, top only. Uh, more bling. <laughs> All right, looks like the, the bling blings have it. Um, so I will add more rhinestones, but let's move on to this folder for now. Um, all right, so somewhere I have a piece of the paper cut. Man, let's go digging. <laughs> somewhere here, <laughs> there is a piece. Ah, found it. There it is. All right, we're way too zoomed up. You might need to zoom up again in a, mi in a minute. But all right, so we have this beautiful embossing folder. Again, it is called Country Blossoms. And this particular pattern lines up with it so that you can emboss apparently you can emboss the pattern so shall we try it this is cut in a three by one a three by six inch strip just from the paper and i was trying to make sure i captured this big flower here because i could see that was what this was and then it, with this pattern there's um below the big flower there's a pair of flowers and at the other end, there's a single flower. So you want to line it up appropriately. You can see the pair of flowers is here. So I need to turn it around. I will also tell you, um, <clears throat> I got myself all confused because I was trying to line it up and all the stems were backwards and I couldn't figure out why. You need to have it on this. You need to line it up with the side that says Stampin' Up. Okay. Um, if you try to line up with the other side like I was doing, yeah, guess what? doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. So... I'm just here to do things wrong to show you don't have to, right? All right, so I'm just sliding it around to line up the pattern I'm way, way the heck off. Uh, the pattern of the paper with the pattern in the embossing folder, and we're gonna send it through and see if it matches. All right, I'm close. Oops, moved it. I don't know that it would have to match exactly. I want it as close as I can get it, right? Okay, I think I've got it mostly. So I'm going to bring the die cutting machine back in. Oh, this is so scary, you guys. What do you think? What do you think? Let's see what it'll look like. So I'm going to remove the number two piece there. And I've got my number one platform. I'm going to add in a number three plate. This is a standard embossing folder. It's not a 3D. 
and then another 3D plate. And I'm going to cross my fingers that I didn't just move that, but I think I did. Okay, a post-it note might have been prudent. Um, I think I nudged it a little bit, but let's just see what it looks like anyways. All right, <laughs> I'm sending it through. I get so impatient. It's terrible. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. Are you guys excited? <laughs> you got this. All right. Yeah, let's hope. Let's hope I got this. All right. Let's open it up. Oh, wow. All right. I don't know. Okay. Let me see if I zoom in because that's probably going to get blurry if I do it that way. Can you see if I tilt it that it's embossed and raised up now? I realize it doesn't probably show on the camera super great, but I think think if I tilt it, you can see the raised, all of the pattern is now embossed. Oh, oh my gosh. Can you believe it? You guys so fun. So this is three by six for a reason, because our card that we're using is three inch by one inch. So why don't we make a card out of this? What do you think? Let's grab our paper trimmer and let's do this exact same fold with this piece that is now embossed. So I'm gonna go here. So fun. And I'm gonna cut. Just put my chin right on top of the camera so I can see. Well, it's making a weird like bumpy sound because uh, of the... <laughs> Because it's all embossed and raised up now. How many do I need? I need four, don't I? Not there yet. All right, and then we've got a bit left over that I could use for something fun. All right, let's see how it looks. And we've got we've got other pieces that I can cut if we don't like the look of this. Let's see. This is is this right? Something's wrong here. I think it goes like that, right? Yeah, it goes like that. And I think we should orientate this card er, <laughs> this way. What do you guys think? So there are flowers is, are, is up, are up. Okay, I can't talk tonight, you guys. All right, so somewhere we have, so we're going to do the same layout, but with our embossed pieces. And somewhere, yeah, I love it when Stampin' Up! Uh, makes products coordinate together. Like, oh my gosh. Um... I'm stalling because I've lost something. I know you're all shocked a bit. Ah, found it. <laughs> Take a sip, everyone. Um, so I have another piece of the white here. This is, again, three and a quarter by four and five eighths. And, of course, you wouldn't have to do this on white. You could do it on um, one of the blues in this pretty paper if you want. I'm going to just pop that on there. And then I'm going to skip down to the bottom one again. And pop that on there. I did get a few little fuzzies here just because the paper was already embossed and I was using my paper trimmer. So I'm going to just, uh, just shave those fuzzies off with my paper snips. Am I doing this the right direction? Doesn't look right. Nope, I almost did it backwards or upside down. All right, so there we've got that one. And now let's fill in with these two. All right, while I'm doing this, please tell me if you think we should use a Knight of Navy card base for this, or should we use a Misty Moonlight card base, or should we use a Boho Blue card base? I'm not going to do balmy because it's going to be a little too bright for me with these muted tones in this paper. But I think any of the other three would look great. So let me know in the comments, navy, misty, or boho. All right. So there we have our uh, row. This time we're going to orientate the card that way. So fun. All right. Let's see. Navy, Misty. Oh, someone's asking about Pebbled Path. That would be fun. 
Um, I am seeing more. Mm, boy, it's a it's a toss up between the newbies, uh, Misty Moonlight and uh, Boho Blue. I'm seeing a lot of. Let's see what Misty looks like here. This isn't a card base, but it could be. <laughs> uh, sure, it could be. Um, and this is what Boho looks like. Somewhere I have packages of these that are already open, but who knows what I did with them. I have a feeling they might be downstairs. I don't know why they would be downstairs, but they might be. Okay, bear with me one moment here. Let's try Boho. So that's the Misty. And this is the Boho. Both are nice, aren't they? Let's see what you guys are saying. I'm seeing more Misties, so we'll go with Misty. Let's go with Misty right here, except for we need a card base. So my brand new package of Misty Moonlight gets initiated. Um, I do have another package somewhere that I already opened in. I don't know where I put it, so that's okay. I'm going to be using a lot of this color, so we might as well get them both opened up, right? All right. So again, um, as a demonstrator right now, or if you decide to purchase the starter kit, you can actually get these new products right in your kit. So if you're interested in, in um, doing that, contact me, Susan, at SueStampfield.com. I'll get you all set. All right, let's go ahead and get this cut here for our card base. Let's just randomly shove things out of the way <laughs> because that's how I roll, right? That's how I roll. Um, and by the way, the starter kit, in case you're curious, it's $99 plus tax. Shipping is free and you get to pick $125 in product of your choice to go in your kit. And as I mentioned, you can pick new things or you can pick existing things or clearance rack things, whatever you want. All right. And you also get a free paper pumpkin in your kit. All right. We've got this all set here. <gasps> Love the Misty, right? This one will just be a nice softer look than our Navy option. So let's remember, see if Susan can remember how to use a bone folder. <laughs> And we're going to orientate the card this way. Mm, like it. All right. Put some adhesive on there. And pop that on the front of our card. And I know you can't see this. I'm sad for you that you can't see this embossing better on the camera. But let me zoom up again and see if I tilt it. If you can see that it's embossed and it matches the pattern in the paper. So cool. Well, how do I want to finish my card? That's a super awesome good question. I don't know yet. Um, let's see what I've got in my bag of tricks here. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere. I got a monkey. <laughs> Those are on my team know why I have a monkey in my bag of tricks, but that's for another video, another time. I am looking to try to find... Oh, team members, you remember how I did that hello and die cut it out in our video, our unboxing video, or the heck? It was somewhere in this... Oh, I think I just... Nope, that's not it. Oh, got all excited and that's not it. I'll find it as soon as tonight's video ends, but that's all right. Mm. Seriously. All right, fine. Be that way. Be that way. Well, I might use some of these bits. So, oh, goodness, I just hit the, <laughs> I just hit the thing. So I've got, let's see, it's going to be a little different because I'm going with this orientation. So I'm trying to decide what I want to do with that greeting. And I am not sure. I could do like this, but I feel like that covers up and then do a long greeting, but I feel like that covers up too much of my pretty uh, paper. I do have this little tiny uh, flag from the set that I could use um, to put a greeting here. If I can find a little tiny greeting that goes in there. Hmm. 
we could do like the for you. I wonder if that would fit. This cover. Oh, it would. That for you would just fit. Now, I do not. My Misty Moonlight ink pad is downstairs. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to finish up this card. I will post it in my um, Sue Stampfield group tomorrow morning. Um, happy Easter. <laughs> I'll, I'll schedule it for tonight, but I'll have it up tomorrow morning. And I'll probably also put it, I'll put it on my Instagram account too, Sue Stanfield Instagram account. So you can see what the finished one looks like. But we're going to make another card really quick. Oh my gosh, what time is it? Is it midnight? Oh, we, okay. We got 10 minutes. We, we, can, we can do that, right? We can totally crank out another card in 10 minutes. I know we can. Okay. All right. Let's see what I got. I want to make a card. This is a farewell. Goodbye to this wonderful paper. So which pattern should we use? We're going to do the same four in a row card. Should we use the pattern? Uh, let's see, this is number one. This is number two. Let me know in the comments which one we should use for this card. I'm going to slide this over here, this over here. Oh my goodness. I can, I can mess up any space. <laughs> it is a true story. So one or two, let me know which one we are going to do tonight. I am so, while you're deciding there, I'm going to grab a piece of Knight of Navy because I think that's going to be our card base. I'm seeing, I think I'm seeing a few more ones. So we're going to go with one. And we did see lots of votes for two as well. So let's do this. I'm going to cut a three inch strip. Oh, goodbye, Sun Prince Paper. You are so wonderful, and I had so much fun with you. There's something about blue and white that's so crisp and clean, but also very calming at the same time. Um, I don't know how that works, but it does. <laughs> All right, so I have that cut at three inches, and then once again, I'm going to cut one-inch strips here. My husband is making dinner for us tonight. And we're having tacos as our pre-Easter meal. <laughs> and I said I would be done by 8.30. So trying to hold true to that. But we got 10 whole minutes, right? Well, probably eight minutes now. Okay. I've got my four pieces there. We've got one more. Three and a quarter by four and five eighths. Can you see how many cards you could make by just using the simple four in a row? And the great thing is, is you can use up little scraps and bits that you have left over from other projects because it's such a small amount of paper. And don't worry if you don't have the, the pattern all matching. If you were doing the pattern all matching, it would be a three by four inch piece um, and you just cut it apart but it doesn't have to match, right? So I showed you on that one uh, Countryside Inn card that I, I that one I didn't actually even match it up. So um, this one I am because <laughs> it brings me joy. Oh, I just got adhesive on my desk. Ah, oh, Susan. All right, I use Goo Gone to get that off my desk. What do you use when you get adhesive on your places you didn't want it <laughs> as long as it's not paper um, oh gosh that one looks super crooked doesn't it good thing I didn't press it down all right so let's fix you you are all wonky all right there we go we're having chicken tonight. That sounds good. Actually, we're having tacos. We're having both beef and chicken tacos because I got some roasted chicken. That just sounded better to me. Okay, there we have our four in a row. Got our Knight of Navy card base. We're going to just fold this in half. And give that a crease. and pop this right on there and what a beautiful card i think this would make a beautiful sympathy card in fact let's do that we've got this right here 
And we have a sympathy saying in the Seaside Bay that is quite lovely. Heartfelt sympathy. Let's go with that. Um, right here. You can tell which stamps I've used the most already. And grab a block out of my drawer. Let's go with a big one here. Why not? And then we'll stamp this in Knight of Navy. Oh, come on. I can see a bow. That's something uh, I don't want to use probably, huh? Hmm. Hang on. I'm digging. <laughs> I'm digging in my heaping pile of scraps here to see if there is. got to be something I can use, right? Oh, here we go. Found it. All right, I put the Knight of Navy ink away. What was I even thinking? Sorry, I just jiggled the camera there. Oh, hand sanitizer. Oh, I always forget about the hand sanitizer. So I have a piece of paper that's way bigger than I need, but that's all right. And I stamped it crooked, but that's okay because I'm going to die cut it out or punch it out or something. Let's see. And I apologize. I don't know what punches are sold out and what are in stock and all the things. I don't think it's going to fit in there, is it? Looks a little skimpy. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Let's see. This is either label me lovely or label me fancy. I get them mixed up. <laughs> and I apologize. I don't know if this is sold out or not. But it fits perfectly. So I'm going to use it. And I'm going to just pop that right in the center of my card. And... There are some amazing bargains still on the retired list. I've never seen so many dies at 60% off. So uh, if you go to my website, click on shop now, you can check out all of the retiring deals. You can even sort it by the best, uh, lowest price. So there we've got a quick and easy sympathy card that will hopefully bring someone some peace in a hard time, right? So these are our cards that we made tonight. We've got single bling and double bling, <laughs> depending on your preference. And I have a sticky desk. Oh my gosh, seriously, seriously. Yeah, I'm gonna stick something on that so my card doesn't stick. <laughs> All right, there we go, <laughs> fixed it. And then we have this unfinished card. Uh, let's see, which way did I do it? I did it this way. So I just need to add my greeting. I'm thinking of adding it there. Stay tuned for the finished version of that card. But that is just a little bit of a play with the Countryside Corners bundle and the Countryside in paper and a farewell to our uh, beautiful uh, Sunprints paper that is leaving us. So thank you so much for move my stuff here. Let's put up that um, banner that shows the sizes. Almost forgot. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. Bear with me while I find it. Here we go. So, oh, we're going to make your, your screenshot all pretty for you. <laughs> all right, there we go. So that's the four in a row card layout. So the base is five and a half by eight and a half. And then the layer for the front is three and a quarter by four and five eighths. And your designer series paper pieces, you need four of them, one by three. All right, let's hide that. I'm going to go back here so I can say farewell. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you celebrate Easter, have a blessed Easter tomorrow. I hope you have a relaxing time with family and friends and have a little bit of time to do some creative playing in the coming weeks. So take care, everyone. Have a great evening, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.